SGC here, and we're back for our first impression. The Expanse Season 1, Episode 1. Developed by Mark Fergus and Hawk Osby. This is a series based on the Expanse series of novels by James S.A. Corey. And basically, people that are in this is Thomas James, Stephen Strait, Cass Anver, Dominic Tipper. Everyone else, check down below. So what's this thing about? Well, basically, it's... Set in the future where humanity has pretty much colonized the entire solar system and it focuses on the United Nations Undersecretary Christian Avizrali, Police Detective Miller, and Ship's Officer Jim Holden and his crew as they unravel a conspiracy that threatens the peace across the system and the survival of humanity. Well, first off, I was sort of not really sure if I wanted to watch this or start the novels. But basically the novels are huge. They're like a thousand, I don't know, they look really huge. They're like this thick and they're like trade paperback already. And there's five of them. I don't know if I want to read or watch. But then when I heard Thomas Jane was in this, I was like, dude, I haven't seen that guy in the longest time. So I'll check it out and I'll watch the first episode. And lo and behold, this is great. In terms of just the visuals, the atmosphere, and just everything feels authentic. And it's like, yeah, I totally believe that they are in a futuristic human world where they colonize solar systems or our solar system and they have all this setup and everything and it was awesome just to see Jim Holden and his ship and all his interactions with all the people and then lo and behold that thing happens I'm like whoa 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 so now I gotta like these five crew members instead of like getting to know the rest of the huge ship crew and then there's Thomas Jane who's doing his thing trying to be a detective and trying to figure out what's happening and here and there there's a lot of things happening for in the first episode it's it's the world building really setting up who these people are and then putting them into a crazy situation at the end where the ship blows up and they're like left behind we have no idea who does that and who did it who shot them what have you and thomas jane is doing his detective stuff so i mean overall it's the acting is fine here and there's no overacting in the sense where say the 100 which is totally not a great comparison but the closest sci-fi in space thing that i recently watched so there's that but it's good, good in the sense where it feels authentic and it feels grounded and I really enjoyed it for what it was. Thomas Jane, I mean, I was looking forward to him, but he's not playing a character that I really am like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. But I think from what I heard, but I think I, I might enjoy it later on because there's a few more episodes and it's going to be interesting because I mean, it's a 10 episode thing and when it's sort of like condensed like that, things going to be bam, bam, bam. I do wonder if they're adapting the entirety of the first book or they're going to chop it up. Maybe it'll probably just be the first book and then they'll try to have five seasons. Who knows? Sci-fi stuff like this normally don't stretch out that big anymore because there's all those sitcoms and all those huge epic things. Because, I mean, this is coming off sci-fi. So I don't think anything right now sci-fi is super long. I mean, everything over at HBO, it's like six, five seasons. Showtime, six, five seasons what have you, NBC, what have you, but sci-fi, not so much. But anyway, I do look forward to the rest of the season because I like how it looks and how it feels, so that's always a plus. And Thomas Jane, so I do wonder what's going to happen because, I mean, it's a huge world. You have Earth versus Mars versus, like, the colonies near the asteroid belt and all that, so it's just great stuff. I cannot wait. I mean, it was just really exciting to see this authentic world being created, and definitely check it out if you haven't. And if you have read the book, I don't know, leave, leave me a comment down below and tell me how it differs. I definitely am going to check it out, the books, when I do get a chance because I am a sucker for books. So, yeah. So, if you have seen it, like I said, leave a comment down below. And that's pretty much it for this first impression of The Expanse, Season 1, Episode 1. Out! Out!